Hello Linux fans and Happy New Year. Well, late Happy New Year. We're a week into 2018, but I hope the year is kicking off awesome for you. I uh, wanted to take a quick look today at the XFCE Theme Manager. Now this is not built in by default to XFCE. This is something that I actually installed. So we're going to take a look at this, but before we do, I want to go through the process of talking about how you would set this up. Now you're not going to find this within the Linux Mint software repositories. If you're new to Linux, I kind of want to cover it from that standpoint a little bit as well. Uh, this might be something that is a turnoff for you because you're actually going to use the terminal and you're going to take these three lines here and you're going to add a repository via a PPA. Now I want to talk about that. You want to make sure anytime you're adding a PPA or using a PPA, you want to make sure that you trust the source uh, that this is coming from. In this case, this is a safe source because you could be adding something that would be nefarious to your system or uh, you know mess up your system. So you just got to be careful doing this. Now it's easy to do. If you're new, we're going to go to the terminal. So I'm going to go to the menu and you'll go to system and you'll scroll down and you'll see XFCE terminal. I've actually got it pinned right here but just wanted to show you again if you're new where this is. We're going to open the terminal and what you're going to do here is the easiest way to do it, uh, and I know many of you watching, uh, you're fast typers and you're used to using the terminal, you type all this in quickly. Uh, but if you're not, what we're going to do is copy and paste. So I'm going to minimize that for just a second. You're going to do that one line at a time. Uh, so we're going to come down here. I'm not going to do the entire process. I just want to give you an idea of how you do this. We're going to right click and copy. And then you'll come over to your uh, terminal. Click in the wrong tab there. Uh, and you'll simply go down to paste. Now, once you've pasted that, you'll hit enter, and it's going to ask you for your system password. That's why it's important to make sure you trust where this is coming from because this uh, can uh, install software onto your system once you enter your password. So we're going to go ahead and enter that, and what you'll see happening here is just a series of lines, uh, sources, where it's actually getting this information, where it's going to pull from, that kind of thing. And then you see here at the bottom, press Enter to continue or Control C to cancel. So we're going to hit Enter. And uh, you're going to see a series of things happen depending on uh, the speed of your system. Sometimes this loads fast, sometimes it loads slow. So the next step will be, now that you see this green line here, is to copy and paste the next line and hit enter and then so on and so forth till you get to the third line at which point you'll see different lines pop up and basically what's happening is it's pulling in the source or the information uh, in order to set that up and install it on your system. It's nothing more than that. It's just that you see various things happening within the terminal when that happens. Alright, so sorry for the long explanation for long time Linux users. I just want to kind of explain this for people who are new. All right, so we're going to close that out. Once you've got it installed, you'll find it in your lineup here under Settings. I believe it's under Settings. And there it is, the XFCE Theme Manager. All right, so we've got that open. Now here's why I like it. Let's go ahead and maximize it. Here's why I like it. While you can change most of this with the tools that are built into XFCE, this is a little more visual. It lets you see... Um, what it is you're about to change with more detail and you can change the size uh, down here at preview so we have large previews huge small so we're going to stay at huge for now uh, but you also have a nice tabbed interface with window borders controls icons and you get the picture here um, you can visually see more detail on these icons and to me this just makes it a nicer way as you're going through the process of making your desktop your own. Uh, cursors and last but not least wallpapers. Now here at the bottom again you've got preview so you can change that size. You can small, medium, large or huge uh, and then you could reset the theme. That's nice to see. So if you go through this process and you don't like what you've done you can simply hit reset and it'll go back to what you had set up previously. Now, once you get things all set up and in place, if you really like what you've got, then you can save that as a theme uh, and create a multitude of themes that you can quickly switch to after you've saved them. And then we have an advanced button here. And what that'll let us do is 
go in and get access to things that you can change within XFCE and other places. So for example here, the top panel, if we right click and go to panel and then panel preferences, that gives you an option to increase the panel size. So uh, size from top to bottom. But you have that right here, so if we wanted to jack that up to something large, we'll go up to 44, you'll see that change there. So I'm going to take that back down in size. But you also have an alpha slider here, so you could make that transparent. So we'll take that back. You have backdrop adjustments, we'll scroll on down. You can change button layout, uh, title position, so we're going to put that center, for example. And then down here at the bottom, we have font selection. And again, this is all within XFCE. This, it's just that the XFCE theme manager puts it all kind of into one place. Uh, you could change the uh, Windows Manager font, Window Manager font, the app font, the cursor size. So we're going to bump that up just to give you an illustration. Take that on up. Now you can see there how much larger. I will take that back down. And then you have options here on what you would like to show within the theme manager. So you've got system themes, uh, icons, you can tick these on or off. And then you could only show uh, custom themes if you choose. So let's say you've gone in and you've set up you know, four or five different custom themes. You don't care about the rest of the themes. Click this box and that's all you're going to see. All right, so that's your advanced mode there. We're going to take it back and we're just going to step through the process here. So I'm going to go over to, um, we'll just go to the default XFCE. And you'll see, notice right away here that that theme is going to change or that uh, title bar here at the top is going to change within the window. Then we can actually change the window border. And I'm doing this one on purpose here. I'm going to scroll up to Redmond XP. I have no idea what they're alluding to here with Redmond XP. Uh, let's go back over now to that and go to Mint Y. And you'll notice a little change there. We've got some green highlight. Uh, there's a method to my madness here. So I'm going to bounce right back over to Redmond XP. I lost it. Where'd, where'd you go? There we go. Redmond XP, you'll see that that's still green. Let's go to controls, and when we go to controls, we are going to go ahead and go with Mint Aqua. Now you'll notice that's blue there. And next, we're going to go to icons, and I'm going to go back to uh, one of my favorites here, the Mint X Aqua, and we'll change that. And then we have cursors here, so we're going to go to white. So you'll see that right there now. Hopefully that shows up. And then last but not least, wallpapers. I'm going to choose, or I'm going to save, um, or just go with what I've got. I don't know what I'm, don't know what I'm saying today. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the wallpaper that I have. All right. So if I wanted to, I could save that as a theme, give it a, give it a custom name here, that kind of thing. I'm not in this case, but uh, you notice how different this looks. All right. So uh, once you've got that set up, you can hit close. And then you can kind of bounce around and take a look at you know how the theme looks. Uh, not bad. Um, again, if you've come from you know Windows XP, that's going to look very familiar to you. I've, of course, will not keep it like that. But uh, anyway, again, just wanted to share that with you. I thought you know, hey, takes uh, all the different controls, puts it in one interface, in a tabbed interface, keeps things simple. So just wanted to share that and. Um, so I hope that's helpful to you, and just hope, again, that the new year is starting off awesome for you. As always, thanks for watching.